mill looking for the supplies he needs. Thus brings us to our first quest, travelers. This quest will give you five minutes to complete, and I will be waiting for you over there, next to the desert sand buggy. Gather there when you have completed the quest, and do not be late. Travelers, you must find five items. Number one. A red toolbox. Number two, a lone spare tire. It must be lone, not in a group. Number three, a shotgun. Number four, a bar with many bottles. Number five, a water well to fill the bottles with water. Your quest begins now. Good luck. Oh, hey. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh no, I cannot believe that oh, yeah. Dolly fell down. Ha ha. How convenient. Ha ha. Is it time to find cactuses already? Looks licked. Okay, armory here. I bet there's a shotgun in here. Nope. Oh, no, I forgot about that. Chicken Ooh. Nah, I'm not sure if this is a bar. Let me see. Yeah, it's right near the entrance. Okay. Ah, oh, the bar with the bottles. Bar! That's bar! That's a few bottles. Yeah. <laughs> what would you like, sir? Milk. Lawn Lawn Ranch Milk. Here you go. Thank. Yep, that is. I remember. Chill. That's all. Fruit loops in the game. Clean the thing. Choose a name. Huh. Are you enjoying it? I get a bird. Whoa. I'm not going to get a bird as I have on such a lot. You can't hear him? Yeah. see him? Like, no, I had this issue last time too. Again? I have like so many rocks right now. Oh, wow. So here's what you can do. I do always gotta go then against everything I say. To, to tab over until you find him. Oh. Let go. Because this reincarnation of you, in this case, no, won't. did you not just go until you see the error in his ways. Yeah. I'm just sad that we failed. And that context means... Last time I checked, this is not you the weren't first time there, Admiral. Dolly, please tell me where the shotgun is. This is not the first oh, time we've met, Akona. So it went back it was like, oh, I'm know. sad that yeah. that version did not make it. And it, to check even further, I went to the next one to make sure it was the I only... forgot that the buggy is made out of metal, which is purified rock. It's weird. I cannot find a lone tire, so I will stay. Huh. Have you tried restarting VR chat totally? What was the good back? item? Yeah, I closed it. And it was reopened shotgun, it. toolbox, water well. Oh, shotgun. Huh. Oh, I... Yeah, I blocked that. Uh, what happens block if you look up Sheen's... Really uh, what happens if you look up his name on... Yeah, I can find like him there, social. but that's it. I found him on there, and uh, I can't do anything from there except friend or unfriend. Did you check this card? You don't have a moderate user. Friends. Oh, is that what that's for? Less than one minute left. Please stay here. Yeah. You can rate that. You can block and unblock that way. 
Misfit, you're getting high. Yeah, I mean, that's what shotgun oh. was about way back in the day. That's it. why it's called shotgun. Oh, oh, that's, that's, uh, that's what he did for the animation. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, did you I'll make give it you a double. toggle to go back on? Tasted so many rocks. I'm just gonna say this. For, I'm just gonna say this village has good taste in rocks. I don't see him still. So. Yeah, he's just standing in front of that buggy. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work either. In my opinion, the desert was a little better. Yo. Yeah, and I really sucks. but it was rocks. I'm not blaming them. Yeah, it does. I'm on PC. <laughs> I'm on PC. Okay, okay. Rip. Rip. This world. No, we're in a desert. The desert is technically Weird. made out of many, many tiny rocks. Yeah, I kept accepting your invites. Exactly. Requests. It's recording. It looks okay. It's PC mode, so it kind of sucks. Ah, <laughs> serious? <laughs> After, after, yeah. Hey, so after this is the yeah. town further over, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, it's like that one episode after Squidward tried to grab the first time. Maybe it's a little trail mix. The little tank thing. We're like, yeah, the little tank. Travelers, your attention, please. Gather around the story. Restarting help. I'm going to actually... Yeah, the painter good. gathers the supplies he needs, and he has money. He hands it over, and he rents a sand buggy. He drives into the desert. My friends, this way. I've also liked the sand buggy. I think we figured out how to get into the world. Yeah, okay. I think we're missing one PC. Misfit? Misfit? Oh. Maybe. Yeah, then yeah, it's probably the rift then. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Can't wait to get my index back from Steam. They're taking their sweet time. Yeah. Bamboo, bamboo. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Cars are so fucked oh, up. Yeah. Cause who Why thought of hobbling guy? metal together and then putting <laughs> fucking. Flammable liquid inside. Probably Yes. <laughs> Travelers, the story <laughs> continues. <laughs> the painter rolls across the dunes for a long long time up and down his body shifts as he holds on to the wheel left and right he watches the horizon as it doesn't change he can hear the wind outside why is the desert wind so loud finally it gets dark and then Without warning, it's suddenly cold. The painter realizes his mistake. He realizes he doesn't know what he's doing. He realizes he doesn't know where he's going, what he's running from, even why he is running. For a brief moment, he thinks of the woman. But then, he sees something on the horizon. A light. He hopes for something meaningful, something to change his path, a different path than this. And it gets closer. The light is a ship, a sand ship. It's military. There are cannons lining the side. And the painter realizes that there's a war going on on this continent. And he realizes his second mistake. He turns off the engine, turns off his lights, and sits down, hoping to be unnoticed. The ground rumbles as the vessel nears. It stops, and the painter knows that it's too late. He can hear troops outside calling for those to exit. And he does, and is arrested. My friends, the painter has been taken prisoner by the Bledevik military. 
and we must join him. My friends, do not leave the first room. And everyone, please enter the Bledivik sand ship this way. Oh, okay, you're not all alone. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, just oh a boy. little bit. Just, 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 just a boy. So what are you in for? Very famous room. <laughs> Beeping. Rock licking. Oh, it's a platypole. <laughs> beeping. <laughs> you did You did beep that horn pretty hard. This is like Did fucked up an evil yeah. gravity falls at it. Other than wine testing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get that wow. first wine. Thank you. Travelers, welcome. The painter sits down on one of the beds. And he thinks with his head in his hands. All the questions that I've previously asked all of you are in his mind. All of you should be thinking about them. Where is the painter from? What has he done? Paint. Where is he going? Do any of you know? Do you think that I know? Do you think that it's possible to know? <laughs> Perhaps that should be on your mind. But for now, a question surfaces. Yes. A riddle, perhaps. A trick question, maybe. Something that must be answered. For those of you standing near between the beds, please clear the way. Because now, I must ask all of you to answer this. Does complete mutual understanding exist? And if it does exist, how do you define it? If you are brave enough to answer this question, stand between the beds in front of me and speak. Ether Memento. Does complete mutual understanding exist? And if it does, how do you define it? I'd say yes, it does. I define it as ultimate unity. That which observes all and sees all. Yet does not necessarily feel separately. It feels everything, sees everything. I see. It is all-knowing, as you say, but you keep using the word ether memento, it. What do you mean by it? Who is it? <laughs> You'll have to keep researching Abel. <laughs> uh, ether, are you really trying Wait. to test something or stress something you shouldn't? Interesting answer. <laughs> Axe leg 8R. Axel Gator. Axel Gator, apologies. Well then, None taken. the floor is yours. Alright. Does complete mutual understanding exist? Is that the question? That is the question, and if your answer that it is that it does exist, you must follow up with, how do you define it? I defined it when you can speak freely with no fear whatsoever. Once this is achieved, that is complete understanding achieved. When you can speak freely, 
This answer is wonderful. I must ask you, who are the parties in this transaction of communication? Speak freely to who. Who would provide limitations that would the speaker be free from? The participants within the relationship, whether it's with a friend or someone you love. Once you can speak f completely freely with them, it has been achieved. I see. Well then, this answer is wonderful, but I have a follow-up question for you. Ax. Ask away. Tell me this. If the participants in this transaction are family members, one that the asker truly loves, what is the degree that they place on the asker for the limitation? And if they are so forgiving because they are family members, how does the asker know that they are truly free? And their question, even if they accept. I would see it as mutual reciprocation. If you can provide the ability to hear someone freely without any judgment and the other can do the same, that is when you know it is authentic. I disagree. If the family members cannot communicate their inner private thoughts to the asker, even if they are family, how do they know that it is truly mutual? In the end, it only comes down to a leap of faith, no? A leap of faith. Ah, yes. Now we're on the same level. Thank you, Axe. This was absolutely wonderful. We have time for only one more, friends. Who else will take the floor? May I, Sheen? Or should I let someone else do it? I believe Sodas is raising their hand. Oh, Apologies, yes, please, let's go. I'll save my later. That's fine. <laughs> if you can remember it earlier. I will. Oh, I'm sure you will. Yeah. The floor is yours, okay. so does. Complete mutual understanding is like that one episode of Family Guy where Peter and the chicken stop fighting. Silence. Now we all Silence, <laughs> travelers. You all laugh. But within the narrative of Family Guy, the chicken is meant to fight Peter, despite whatever thoughts he may have as a character. There is but their background provided. Exactly. Peter fights as well, given the circumstance. It is not justified, many would say, but they fight. Mm. And they stop when that understanding fight. is achieved. So, what is it that truly stops them from fighting? Because the absurdness of their battle between episodes is obviously more powerful than that reason. Yet they stop. So something else must be going on. Something that breaks the law of why they exist to oppose each other. So does at sundown. When they stop for the final time, neither of them have died. Yet they have almost completely killed each other each time. They have encountered one another. So why is it that they really stop sodas what's Seth controlling MacFarlane it? Wrote it. <laughs> Seth, Seth MacFarlane wrote it that way. Seth wrote it. And that uh, brings me to my final question. 
This is a little bit different, Sotus. Don't answer so quickly this time. I encourage you to think. Why did Seth MacFarlane wrote, write them to stop? Because it's a cutaway, cutaway gag, and it's funny. <laughs> that seriously I took mean, you a while to think of that? I think it's because they're stronger. I mean, there's plenty of other reasons, but it's not the best. I thought it was a continuity I thing. Because Stewie made a time machine. I and see. It works dollars. time backwards, and they yes. unfight each other. That is That's actually cool. accurate. Thank you, so does. My friends. No fucking way. <laughs> Do this. Well done. <laughs> no fucking way. <laughs> Sonny you did it. Backwards. Woo! It's the right answer. Oh, it's not the right answer. It's the <laughs> no, this is the The sunny dubs keep on coming. Into a right answer, apparently. The painter sits. He looks up out the porthole and he sees the sand dunes. The sky is dark. He can see the moonlight, but he can't see the moon. He sees something in the distance. Something under the sand. It's kicking up a lot of dust. It's coming toward the vessel. What is that? Suddenly, the vessel is struck, and the painter falls from the bed onto the floor. The vibration continues. The painter stands up. What's going on? Struck again. The room shakes. The painter watches as the door falls from its frame. He's free. But, but it's not safe. My friends, listen carefully. This sand cruiser is under attack. And the painter must find a way out before it sinks. And thus, all of you must as well. Everyone, your next quest is as follows. Find a way out of the sinking vessel before it's crash. too late. Good luck! No, he probably... <laughs> Alright! Oh. Oh, goodness! She is just going to This is why we can't uh, skip. Uh, it's been too long. I forgot how. It's just because you're just a very seem familiar. Like, I've been here before. It's not. This is not. This is not. This is not. This is not. No, she no. Parkour. Oh. I don't know. I don't. Oh, goodness. I don't know. No, she didn't cook that. No, no, no. Oh, it's oh, 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 party oh, in here. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, it's a trap, guys. Uh -oh. It's a trap. Cody, please use the wall. Use the wall over here. Jump like a minute. There you go. And you have a few extra. Can you guys yeah. hop on my chair, guys? Oh, this is making me woozy. Let me tilt my hat. Yeah, this is... Everything's oh, off center! <laughs> Wrong way, friends. Wrong way. Wrong way. Go this way. God, it was huh? kind of funny. <laughs> Sorry that I didn't come back for you when you fell off the ledge. My reasoning is that it was kind of funny. Fair reason. Where's the cow? Where's the cow? Go on, go on! I oh shit! Ah, oh no! Ah. I think you went there to warn people, hey, don't go. Cajun betray! I've learned my lesson of following you everywhere. You don't actually know Unless you played it off really well. It's been a year since I've been in this world. I'm following Trajan. Wow, fake fan, fake fan. 
Shut up. Yeah, Trajan be true. I really want to jump really, off this. Person, really, my though. friends. Yeah. Panda fell and it was really funny. My friends, the story <laughs> continues. The world. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> 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 the painter runs up the crane, and he sees the dark mech below. The dark mech. Yes, the same one. My friends, this is the only way. Jump. Jump for your lives. Okay. I well, Sheen, we missed whatever you were saying because we kind of fell off the thing before we made it to the top. <laughs> Yes. And I'm pretty oh, sure to I no one's surprise, I broke my bones on that fall. Good job. Yeah, no one's surprised. Wow. Yes. You really need to go to the, the to the Aperture Science and different I've done it. Is. How does a robot break his bones? I've done he it. Has I have looked every oh, single oh, sand particle oh, from that from the top of the inside of the ship and the ship itself and all the other metal cyborg. Nah. Uh, At least the closest thing we have a word for. He knows how to. So, 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 so how does it? <laughs> Travelers, the story continues. Oh, that was terrible. The painter doesn't know who attacked the ship or why. He doesn't care. He finds his way through the flames of the sinking vessel to the upper deck. There it is. The dark mech. He looks at the chest plate and it opens he doesn't understand how but he pilots the dark mech sprinting away from the wreckage he doesn't make it far as now his path is suddenly blocked a crimson mech slides across the dune in front of him ripping the sand in front of it he stands, staring at his foe. Two segmented golden whips hang from each arm. A black eye patch covers one of the head sensors. And a large white feather adorns the head armor. The painter tries to move around his opponent, but it quickly strikes the ground at the dark mech's feet, leveling the dune between them. They stare each other down as the sand slowly falls around their metal armor, gleaming under the hot desert sun. The painter prepares to fight for his life, and this is your next quest, travelers. The crimson mech strikes the sand again. It's fast. The painter has a window for action. What does he do? You have 30 seconds to answer. Mother's instinct. Break the wrist, break the wrist, break the wrist. <laughs> yes, break the Yes, just break the wrist off. Why are we uh, break his ankles. Oh, my... uh, I, I like mother's instinct. Break... <laughs> it's funny because we don't actually have good <laughs> options. We told him he's back when we left Lahan. Perhaps. Oh. <laughs> Ten, it's funny if you know the pilot. So. Eight, um, seven, six. What was the option? Five, four, three, two, one. What? Time has expired. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, that hit me. Vid vision fly. That uh, part. Ah. Vid visionify. Yes. Into my soul. yes. Hello there. Hi. Uh, the crimson mech attacks. What will the painter do? We're gonna go for the wrist. The crimson mech's golden whip flies, gleaming through the sunlight. It crackles hard against the sand, narrowly missing the dark mech's leg. The painter rolls, and he sees an opening. Quickly, brings his fist down hard and strikes the crimson mech's wrist. The armor explodes. The whip breaks and the crimson mech's right arm is disarmed and tremendous damage has been dealt. The painter writes himself. 
and readies his defense. The crimson mech whips its left hand hard against the sand, revs its hover engines, and prepares to attack. My friends, what will the painter do? You have 30 seconds. Do a barrel roll. Uh, use the, use the force of his... Yes! Can we just cheat it? German suplex! Yes, we can do anything. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. So we can do anything. Does that mean we can shoot laser eye beams at him? I think we can try. Uh, I don't know if the dark side can do that, but... You can try. <laughs> Let's make waffles. And, um, use your there, is, there is one, there is one oh, laser beam right. that we're going to get the to use in a moment. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Yes. This is why people are so uh, so I wonder what's in the big of yours. One use the electric baton and the electric baton. Can you make a joke and say mother's Where <laughs> there's the, the, the flare gun fight between Doof and Perry, yeah, and Doof has the dragon mech and fucking incinerates his entire body. Because the fire blasts in the back of the mouth. Yeah, Use the child. Exactly. They'll, they'll make good. Uh, they'll, right. be, they'll be a good one. That's such a good episode. I, I can't phrase that better. I think it was a cool show you that one. That, that is what got me. Yeah, I, I don't think they're totally fixing that one. I'm calling it. Yeah, I can't phrase. I can't phrase that one. Action that figure. Hello. Oh, how about this? Five, four, three, a roundhouse kit two, one. My friends, time has expired. Let's see. Delta frame 178. The crimson mech dashes to strike. What will the painter do? Mm. Paint on the mech. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? You have five seconds to answer. Suplex. Dodge it. <laughs> eh? That's all. Does the painter even know how to do that? Yeah. <laughs> Two, oh, one, one, zero. Your time has expired. The Crimson Mech's golden whip slices across the sand and strikes the Dark Mech's neck causing severe damage. The painter is thrown to the ground, hits the ground, and shakes violently. I guess he didn't say Multiple sensors enough. go off in the cockpit. The crimson mech backs off and prepares for a third strike. The painter stands and readies his defense, but then an alarm goes off in the cockpit. Warning. Ether amplifier fully charged. Warning. Ether amplifier fully charged. My friends, what will the painter do? You have 30 seconds. Use I think we all know what we're press pressing the button. Do. Press the button and Activate then use the laser beam button. to yep. rocket jump oh, away. <laughs> if, if, if the amplifier is fully charged and it's giving us a warning, you know what that means? We need to find we can vent it out. Grand Holy Cathedral Fire Ray, Storm. that's it. This isn't the magenta. Yeah. One. <laughs> I don't care, Grand <laughs> Cathedral Ray! We don't want to kill the Crimson Meg, he's not evil, he just doesn't know who we are. Divine I got an idea. I got my, no, Season I got two, idea. Trajan was literally telling us how awful it was that we wanted to kill the Crimson Mech, so we shouldn't crim kill the Crimson Mech. Let's we should do it like a Sora's Wrath and punch the ground so up. hard we hey. rock it into space. Wait, I'm, I'm oh, afraid I don't have an answer. Exactly. This was Sora's Wrath, by the way. Uh -huh. We put all the ether energy into into one hand and give it a slap of a lifetime. Not even its mother would be an impressed. <laughs> Um, Five, I think that might four, kill him, so maybe not that. Three, two, one. Yes. Does it even matter? Time has expired. Celery stick, I mean, cell VR. <laughs> what will the painter do? You know what to do. I'm gonna be real cheap if I'm falling asleep. I, I couldn't find a dark mech. I couldn't find a good mech. I'm sorry, that's dark, so it just shows this. We'll rocket jump away, Kamahama, blast. 
off uh, in hello, space. Man. I don't know, Team Rocket blasting off again, but... Uh, <laughs> team Rocket blasting off again? <laughs> Wait. Wait, a Sal. A tactical I'm going to need a single sentence. Try again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, syntax there. You gotta say the uh, press the button the... first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're pushing the... We're pushing... <laughs> we're pushing the button and blasting ourselves away. Team Rocket style. It's called a tactical retreat. <laughs> the painter watches the crimson mech ready its golden whip arcing under the sunlight. The next strike will surely be fatal. But the painter realizes the energy at his disposal. And he presses the blinking button for the ether amplifier in the cockpit. The dark mech's hands come together and generate a ball of glowing ether. The energy density is forbidden. He pushes his hands forward toward the crimson mech, and for a moment his foe stops and hesitates. But then he brings his hands toward the ground. And he opens the fingers. The energy dissipates at an alarming rate. A destructive force erupts below the dark mech, launching it far, far into the sky. The dark mech is catapulted by the energy blast far to the horizon, away from the battlefield, away from the Crimson Mac, and has successfully escaped the battle. The Crimson Mech watches from a distance, and aside them, a sand cruiser surfaces with a familiar symbol. My friends, the painter travels far, far across the desert until finally he arrives at a new city. My friends, this way. Oh Godzilla God. would be proud of that symbol? on my ether energy What's movement. I, don't that's <laughs> I set myself to this strategy. I'm a fire and my laser. Oh, I'll see you in a second. Oh. <clears throat> My friends, the painter arrives at the great desert capital, the great desert kingdom of Bledivik. Everyone, enter the great desert kingdom and wait for me for you. Boy, oh boy, we're gonna meet a bunch of sand people. Let's go. Just like Star Wars. It is. <laughs> so yeah. many different rocks to taste. Who made this world? Ooh, so in tasting rocks. Like this is only like three areas of the world. I was thinking you should stop by the uh, gem shop. They have many exotic rocks from across the galaxy. We still have the Tower Battle. We still have the Tower Battle. We still have the Future City to go to. And there's so many places in this world. Also, I taste the map. We're not going to see them all. Travelers, Travelers, Travelers it is listen nice. carefully. And gather around. The story like. continues. Wow. The Light Foe. Me too, to be honest. Travelers. <laughs> the painter really enters the great desert kingdom. <laughs> he sees below him a busy market. People moving to and fro, buying and selling. There is a lot of supplies here. A lot of food. A lot of happy people. He feels a bit of relief seeing everyone talk and walk about. Finally, a place that has no violence. The painter enters the crowd and he finds a quiet alleyway. He walks in there and finally 
he sits down in the shade. <sighs> he breathes. Finally, he can rest. He thinks for a long while, but soon, footsteps approach. The painter looks up, and he is approached by two young men. They are wearing strange clothes, and one of them has an eye patch. They are looking at him. He stands up and readies for a fight. The two men identify themselves as desert pirates, the pirates that attacked him just now. They claim they want to help him. They need his power. For after witnessing what he did in battle, they wish to be allied. Travelers, to continue the story, to hear what these desert pirates have in store for the painter, you must complete the next quest. The next quest involves you searching the city of Bledivik for the following items or places. But before you begin, listen carefully. I will be waiting for you at the second area. No, the back of the third area. And you have ten minutes to complete this quest. There is a door in this area that is broken due to this world not being completed. My fellow tour guide, Trajim, will stand in front of that door. My, my friends, please kindly do not enter that door because if you do, you will cause everyone to have the floor despawn and fall through and return to the spawn room. If this does happen, do not worry. Simply click the reset music button and return to the door that says Bloodivik. I repeat, if one of you accidentally clicks the door that Trajan will be blocking, please hit the reset music button in the spawn room and return to Bloodivik. Remember, friends, don't go in the door that Trajim is standing in front of. Now then, you are required within 10 minutes to find the following. Shane? A, uh -oh. a aquarium uh -oh. as number one. Number two, the weapon shop. Number three, the window exit of the hotel room. Number four, the machine shop. There will be metal walls to identify the machine shop. And finally, Number five, the small toy mech on display. I repeat, number one, the aquarium. Number two, the weapon shop. Number three, the secret window exit of the hotel. Number four, the metal machine shop. And number five, the small toy mech on display. You have ten minutes. Do not be late. I'm licking the machine shop. Okay. Yeah, machine shop first. Luna lose internet or something? But there are robots there. Awesome. Well, but I will be checking the weapons thing. one. No, I would like those. Where did she go? Behind effort earlier, Alaman. I found the armor. Uh, oh. Wrong door. Oh. That way you can actually hear some <laughs> form of noise. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Okay. This was weird. 
window, is it? Follow that froggy car. Uh -huh. Something down here. <laughs> that is so adorable. What the hell? Oh, he drifting. He drifting <laughs> hard. Oh yeah. He was a uh, border customs at one point too, wasn't he? I'm a bit too short for this this job. Yeah. I Just know. Hello. Maybe I this avatar like, will help. I'm a bit too. I I'm able like to get over. I would like two please. To do this job. Two alcohols, one to go, and oh, one for oh, here. Never mind. I'm. I can do this job. Do you see a proof of ID? Uh. Oh. Uh. I went at home, but uh, I'm. Well, I'm thirty. Come on. I wouldn't make it by avatar. Unfortunately, I can't buddy. read the. Uh, this avatar is one megabyte. The age of a ghost. So... And it's not loading. Oh. Curses. <laughs> Load. Spam the jump button. Against it. Alright, axe leg 8R. There we go. Yes, yeah, I gotta... <laughs> Monkey. Monkey. Oh, there we go, I got my ripstick out. It's okay, I can't drink Monkey. anyway. Oh, hell yeah. I am a ghost after all. Not with that yeah, attitude, but we have it just goes right it. through me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, make it not go through you. Yeah. Head ass. Figuratively. Or, yeah, Jake. So, you guys want some, mm -hmm. some cran raspberry? All right. Cran oh, raspberry. Yeah. Pour it. Pour it. I'm down. Oh wait, there's more? Oh god. I just took a fucking See, three of the items were back in the first area. Mm. The shop is in the window. Whoa. Did you find the treasure? Wait a minute. Don't I have that I avatar have as well? Where is it? I know! Isn't this... I found Your pajamas it. make me have complete confidence in you. Oh, yes. I found it! I'm and stuck! I was like, yes, I I'm out. grabbing this! <laughs> Should we be a bigger avatar? Why are all your avatars so small? <laughs> Wait, it's fun being small. Why are you so big? I disagree. No! <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Don't test me on Oh god, here comes the giant granite. I have like everything in the town, oh. including its weapons. Oh, oh boy! I'll, I'll spin back before the next season. Congratulations, Delta. The guns taste delicious, so, surprisingly. <laughs> this one. Who wants to fight me? Very pristine. This one? You know, usually it's a bad thing when someone sticks like, a gun in their mouth. I am not pointing the gun in my face. <laughs> and I think my VR just died. That's Hold up. Tradition. Crash at the. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, no, no, I can salvage it. Yes. Putting. Putting weapons in your face. I think I can salvage it. VR Trailer's tradition. See, I'll do, I'll do sword swallowing. Oh. Right now. <laughs> <gasps> yeah, I I have have an an oh, it spins! <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no, okay. I have never learned how to do that. They are, they are pristine. <laughs> the sniper, I'm ready. rustic, and these. Dual flavored. Ever heard of the game Chicken? 
We have the blue part and the green part taste differently. Yeah, you will cage in style. My legs are too walking! Oh, no! Oh, you will cage in style. Oh, hey! Oh, dear. Vivid is dead. Victory to the one with the briefcase! Poke him with a stick! I got this. I'm taking him down. Oh, oh, I'll just poke him with the button and then the stick. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, shit, are we. What? Alright, Panda, come on. I dare you to beat this and face me in face to cups. I'm pretty sure I'll win. Robin, his wrist is literally the size of half your body. Uh, sorry. Sorry, just. That tugboat reminds me of my dead daughter. Well, from? not dead ah. daughter. Um, they went to college. Uh, no, never mind. You wouldn't understand. They weren't your daughters because they went to college? Uh, Are you saying you two, no, you two no, chicken and face men? Basically, they got kidnapped by the Red Hat Corporation. So, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, all right, cool. Okay, all right, there you go. Her royal highness is wretched, look at What the fuck happened? I am in... I am in... I don't know. What's your favorite outfit? Ow! Ow! My nose! Go kart stand. I lost count after a Almost time, friends. The others are making their way here now. Yeah. Oh. Got me the number on that truck. Like we do in shade. Oh, anything that is derivative of rock. Hi. I look at our way to the top, boys. You could probably add a global bell sound to your avatar somehow. If it's derived from the, if it's derived from the rock, yes. All right. <laughs> it's Miles. Bring it out. 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 Oh no. Raving <laughs> bitch. You've changed <laughs> colors. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yes. There you go. Don't worry about it. You're evolving! No. Yes! Like a Pokemon! We thought we had more time! Travelers! Travelers, your attention, please. Gather around. Everybody, line up! The story continues. Oh god, it's a, oh god, it's a frog army. Well done, travelers. Were you able to find all of the items and or locations? Yeah. Yes. 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 Kind of. Yes. I see. Well done. The painter makes his way to a private space to speak to the two desert pots. They sit down with him, and at this moment they seem more sincere, more trusting. They explain to the painter that they are in fact desert princes. The princes to inherit the throne of Bledivik. However, many years ago, their father passed away, and upon his passing, a corrupt military leader 
took over. This leader slowly, year by year, organized the army under his control, disregarding the throne. The two young princes were, of course, too young to take over and speak against him. And eventually, they were ousted from the city. They were forced to live alone among loyalists on a sand cruiser, circling, scouring the deserts away from their home. The desert princes seek nothing more than to retake their home, retake the throne, and help their people from this corrupt leader. Chaos is in the city capital, and Bledevit has been attacking villages, neutral cities, all over the map, all over the continent of Ava. The war continues with the nation of Kislev and their capital Nortun to the north. But that is but a distraction for the chaos caused by this corrupt leader. And thus, the Dark Mech has been identified as an asset. And the Desert Princes ask the painter for their help to pilot it, to fight against this corrupt leader, to attack the capital this castle that stands behind me and take back the throne. The painter thinks for a long while. He realizes he has a decision to make. While he's thinking, the desert princes remind the painter that if he helps them, they can, in turn, help the painter find the woman from his memory. The painter ponders this and spends some time alone amongst the market, amongst the celebrations in the city. He realizes he never told the desert princes about the woman. And thus, travelers, you have a choice to make. If you wish to trust the desert princes and help them take back the throne, stand next to my fellow tour guide Tray gem. If you wish to not trust the desert princes and go your own path, stand next to me over here. Make your choice. Frog hey, gang has to stick together. I I would recommend frog gang to go with Trey Jim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> frog gang. Frog gang. Frog gang. I wasn't expecting for them to mention about the girl in dreams. I was expecting they were talking about breakfast from the pilot. Ethan Memento is, I think, you know, part of the same group. And oh my god. We go on French Revolution in this bitch. I, I, I don't think, I don't think our vote is gonna count. That's, it's a split path, it's not a vote. Not pop revolution, you're fighting the princes with schools. Uh, um, I think we'd be more afraid that we are, that I, I think the king would be more afraid that instead of a instead of a instead of a dark mech, it's an army of car frogs. Did Ether Mementor already go to play? I guess I'll go over there too. Revolting because they eat the French. They eat the French. They eat the frogs. Goodbye, me ask me in. I love you, boy. Travelers that have chosen my path to not trust the desert princes, please step over here. All right. 
Fuck them princes. Well, I don't. I don't know. Mm. Our vote is probably already getting overruled by the. <laughs> yeah, bro, bro, we got this. You got look, this. Look, I'm just gonna say. Don't worry. Look, I'm. Look, I'm just gonna say. This. A crash in the raving. Look, I'm just. I'm just gonna say. Regardless of our our vote, I feel like the army of frogs are gonna win. Like not with this yeah. little thing, but like they could definitely take a over a kingdom. Don't worry. Oh, not really. The story continues. Listen carefully. Great heavens, the, frogs are the painter goes to bed in the end, considering the offer from the desert princes. He thinks long and hard about how they knew about the woman from his memory. He tries to think carefully. If he told them, he doesn't remember telling them. Perhaps it was during the battle with the Crimson Mech. That was one of the Desert Prince's right. So many things he doesn't know. So many things uncertain. Well, there's too much. He doesn't like it. It's all wrong. And he escapes the city in the night. He takes the dark mech that he parked outside, hidden behind some hills, and flies off into the dark, great desert. My friends, this way. I like his work, but being a lone wolf would be what suffice it for now. Ah, don't worry. Alright, do a noble six and and, um, and do this alone. If you turn on your thingy majiggy, they're straight over there. I can see them. I see. Yes. <laughs> they're floating in the sky. Luckily, I got some weapons. AR, sniper rifle, dual pistols. Oh, All I have is a flashbang. If we have a fight. Is it just the four of us? That and music. For this for Portion, that's kind of okay. I can fly at least. They're this all way. Been running. This way. Just, just, just don't ask how affected. Kind of we're psyched with zone four. Ooh. So yeah, are we oh. also gonna get the like other side Whoops. of port? My friends, um. It's been a while. This way. Apologies. Okay. Yeah, hey man, I, I like you. I'll, I'll My drift is getting intense. So, you know. <laughs> are we also, are we also going to get, like, the gist of what happened with the other side? I mean, probably. They run this tour multiple times. I'll get a chance to see it. Listen carefully. The painter flies the dark mech into the dark desert sky for a long time. There's not a cloud in sight. He passes over mountains, green grasslands, and rocky hills. He begins to drift off to sleep. The autopilot takes over. So he feels confident he'll be safe. Time passes, but when he wakes up, the dark mech is on the ground. And surrounding him are military mechs. They demand the painter disembark his vessel. The painter complies. He is now arrested by the Empire of Nortun. And he is taken prisoner. He tries to explain that he is not with the s country of Ava, the capital of Bledevik. No. He is but a person from Lahan village, but they don't listen. And they strap a bomb collar onto his neck and tell him that he is now a prisoner of Nortun. My friends, this way. Well. 
Mm. Make sure <coughs> your world music is turned on. The painter is oh, brought okay. into the steam city of Nortune, the capital of the country of Kislo, on the continent of Ignis. Ooh. He does not understand where he is or why he is here, but he has no choice. My friends, this way. This shit look like... Stay together. <laughs> ah, it seems there are prison guards to greet us, friends. Please walk this way. Halt! Who goes there? State your business. Me? Yes. Hey, no, you there's three up. three people behind you. Yes, you. Uh, we're, we're here to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. Well, I hey. see bomb collars. Wait, 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 I don't know. <laughs> We see bomb collars around your neck. You must be prisoners. Perhaps. Oh, great. oh another, shit. Another How they know, prisoner? It's kind of obvious. All right. Listen up. I'm only going to say this once. It is late. I, have mi I am missing a special event with my wife. And I am tired and grumpy. So listen up. Shut up. Straighten up. And follow me. You better listen, travelers. Follow them. In here. Okay. All right, listen up, prisoners. Breakfast is at 0700. Sleep in? No breakfast for you. Food is limited. Space is limited. Shower heads are limited. You need hot water? Boil it yourself. Uh, it's already past midnight, so you better get to snoozing. Me and my fellow guard here will be pacing around outside to prevent leaving and entering. If we catch any of you outside, there will be severe consequences. And get to bed. Mm. Well, I'm thinking we should sneak around. Travelers, mm. gather around and listen carefully. It appears the painter has been taken prisoner. He sits down at a table and looks at the bomb collar around his neck. He's been told that if he leaves the city, it will explode and kill him immediately. What does he do? He looks at the food presented in front of him. Soon, a mysterious figure joins him at the table. This figure sits down and looks at the painter. The figure explains bluntly that they are a spy. And they just stare. The painter says, A spy? From where? A spy from Bledivik? For the war? The figure does not answer. They just begin talking. They explain that they are also a prisoner here and that they wish to escape. They say that they need the painter's help to escape. And there is only one way. To gather seven bottles, just like the one on this table. Because this particular drink that is served in D-Block, the prison D-Block, is explosive. If you light it, it will explode like a bomb, and it is key to their escape. The spy says that they understand why the painter is here, and they understand that they were wrongly arrested. And if they help them, 
they will help the painter get back on their path to the holy city. The painter thinks for a second about what they said. The holy city? What? But then the painter looks at the bottle. The liquid inside is weird. It's shimmering. It's moving in ways that don't make sense. The painter then looks at the spy and says, All right. Lately, nothing makes sense for me. I don't know where I'm going, but I know I need to get out of here. I need to find... something. So, I'll help you. The spy is pleased. And the spy tells the painter that, like this orange bottle here on the table, there are seven others scattered about the prison. And they need them to go gather them. My friends, your next quest is as follows. Walk around this prison without leaving the area. You may go into all of the doors and houses that you see, but please, don't leave the area. Find and locate seven other bottles. This is number one. They could be anywhere, and you have exactly seven minutes to complete this quest. My friends, do you have any questions? Uh, no. Remember, seven orange bottles. Your quest begins now. Good luck. Can I even, can I even grab these? Don't get caught by the guards. I repeat, we do not get caught by the guards. Oh, here's another one. We already found three. We already found three. One, two, three. No, orange, oh, dang. Right? orange bottles, exactly like this one. And I okay. repeat, do um, not get caught by the guards. Gotcha. I repeat, do not get caught by the guards. Good luck. Roger that. Downstairs. Uh, not that smart. <laughs> For Pete's sakes. Oh, look, there's a bunch of rocks right here. What was that? Run me there. Son of a bitch, wrong door. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yep. What was that? I don't feel confident in going out there. I'm a bit of a pussy, so I'm not gonna risk going out. I, I don't know, dude. The first door I opened, I literally saw a dude there. Okay, <laughs> so I found three more. There's like a bar pretty close to here with no guards currently. That's six. So, That's uh, six. I think. Or is it? Does the first bottle that we had on the table count? I don't remember. All three bottles in the room count. All, okay, all so the, that all means the we need one more. Count. All the need orange bottles bottle. count. Okay. <laughs> I, I am. I'm not risking. I'm not risking. I, I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a rock licker, not a stealer. Yo, there's one orange bottle in there. Dude, there's there's one orange bottle in there. In the other room over here. Come. You there. You you will be my witness. Careful, there's a guard outside. Someone there. <laughs> what did I just say? I thought there's a card outside. Oh, God. Well, okay. 
feel. We'll have to wait. We'll have to wait. Give it like two minutes to chill. Why you have to make me shit bricks? You only have about four minutes sorry, left. I'm sorry, I, I told would you. Hurry. you just, uh... Why you have to make me shit bricks? Thank God someone thank God someone has bigger guts than us. Yeah. Where's the where's the other dude? Because I can't. I don't do well in stressful situations. I'm a lo I'm a rock licker, not not the last one. Rock... Alright. Okay. Alright, you there, you there. You there, guy. Yeah. Come come with me, come with me. Guy. I'll find another one. No. Over here. What? No no, don't do it again. <laughs> I gotta see you. Careful. There's nothing out there. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 no. Someone sneak in here. Alright. Does, does that make seven? This one? Probably. Uh, I'm not gonna die yet. Looks Probably. Like... Oh, look at that. We still have two minutes. I don't think seven. I, I think that makes seven. It looks just like this bottle. I can I I can't um uh I can't right. I can't I can't be bothered to find it. Dude look look we we have three in here, one across the street over there, that makes four, and then three in the bar and over there, that makes seven. Oh my I think they found an eighth. I don't know. They said seven. I mean, we want to blow up the door, not like, you know, make a subatomic bomb, but the hell, I wouldn't seven. know. I think I searched all the searchable rooms in D block. Alright, Ben. The church had nothing. Oh, damn it. Okay. My VR, now, I'm, uh, I'm my not VR got... able to interact. My VR, I'm, uh, my VR got stuck. I gotta, is, I gotta uh, restart. What is a thousand? Yeah. It, it's oh, on, a, on, a on a quest two. No, um, it's an actual. You better one. hurry and restart. We have about one minute left. All right, hurry pretty quickly. It's going I'll to use the dog. I have to do a full because I have to do a full restart on Steam VR as well. Oh shit! All right. Let me see, what's a de delta frame? Once you respawn, here, I'll, I'll add you, and then if you're on there, then I'll just spawn to you and then turn doggo, and then you, we can spawn back. Here, let me see, there you go. Friend request sent. Ugh. What, what, wait, what about you? Are you recording today or no? Trying. It's a yes. I'm on PC, so... Hopefully, Don't worry, tech yeah. is recording, so... You Hopefully. won't miss these minutes. I missed a lot in the beginning because... Travelers, you know, do you think it's gonna take him a few minutes to get back? Uh, Probably, I mean, he's completely gone. You know, his ping uh, is so solid, it's... Yeah, yeah, yeah he's gone. <laughs> Alright. Well then, is everyone here? I... Yeah, I guess so. I, I guess it's three of us now. Well done. The story continues. The painter brings back all the orange bottles that the spy requested. The spy eagerly takes them and places them into a backpack. The spy begins to sit by themselves and think for a moment, and the painter watches. The painter then speaks up. Hey, how did you know about the Holy City? I don't even know where that is. You said I'm going there? The spy ignores them. Finally, the spy turns and looks at them. Listen, you need to get out of here, and I need your help. So... 
I need you to come up with a plan, and I'll be waiting for you outside. Outside the city limits. I know how to get out now. So, I'm going to go ahead and you catch up. Think of a plan that you can get past the guards. I'll take care of the perimeter guards, but you're going to have to find a way to sneak past the guards that are covering D-Block. And with that, the spy drops the backpack on the table and leaves. Travelers, listen carefully. There are guards blocking the exit of D-Block Prison. You together must come up with a plan to sneak past them. You may think about ways to talk your way past them, or to distract them, or to sneak around them. Whatever it is you come up with, it must be good. You have about three minutes to sit here and talk together about a way to get past the guards blocking the exit, starting now. I think All I right. have an idea. All right, um, what's your idea? Okay. So one of us handles the explosives, right? And the other serves as a distraction. Uh, we pretend we got injured or sick, okay. and then the guards will take us somewhere, and in the ensuing chaos... Second. Delta frame is back. Let's see. Okay. The painter notices there's a lot of food that is left unserved, uneaten, uneaten, mm -hmm. steaming, hot and good. The painter also notices there are lots of guard uniforms here stashed under the counter. The painter also notices the backpack left by the spy full of explosive drinks. It seems like you have lots of answers. Oh, yeah. Well, my plan is distraction plus explosives. I guess we could wear the, we could sneak our way past some guard uniforms with the explosives. All right, uh, I'm good. I don't think food will distract them. Well, I mean, uh, oh. yeah, everyone wants to go. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, I actually want to go get you. <laughs> Shit, my bad. Oh, my bad. Okay, team. I just, you, I just I, use the debug. I, I just use the debug thing. <laughs> Okay, that'll be good then. Okay, my other avatar has one flashbang that only works once, and it slightly lags you, and then uh, the flight system. That's the only thing okay. I have on my other avatar. You all need awesome. to be on Not the same page about what to do, guys. otherwise your plan will fail. Yes. Right. So here's Wait, my suggestion. Delta, what? Delta, your guns. Hmm? We need guns. Well, we have our okay, the thing is like, no, no, the one problem is, if we use guns, they're not silenced. One, so, one shot, and it will alert every, it will alert every guard in the area. One, if one oh, You have it, explosives here all, in the bottles, here. you have guard uniforms under the counter, and you have a lot of food that is left unserved. What will you choose? Mm. Okay. We need, we need to use guard uniforms, because those guards are like robots, and they don't eat. So the food is useless. Yeah. Unless That's they just want thinking. to be cool, but our <laughs> uniforms. And we don't want to forget our explosives. And collect all guns would be a bit useless. And guns would be okay. a bit useless. Because if they hear us, yes. they could be simply just they can simply just remote detonate our collars. Yes, that's true. Alright. Guard uniforms it is. But we gotta find a way to like cover up our necks. We don't have any scarves. Oh gosh. Do you have the avatars of the guards? Uh, I don't think I do. No. I mean, I could click on them and probably <laughs> phone them or something. But you better be do that. Either. Because you have one minute left. Oh shit, they're up there. Wait, they're not clonable, fuck. Oh wait, Jeremy says. Jeremy. Guard uniform. Uh, there we go. Okay, let me do the talking. There you goes past here. All right, I'm fine. Tech nerd, I know that you are streaming. If you are unable to change your avatar, no worries, we'll play along. Nope, they got ah, it. Never mind. All right. 
Travelers, you have about 30 seconds before you need to leave. You better discuss what you're going to say. Okay. Uh, He's good at talking because I ain't. I'll do the talking. I'll just tell them right. that we, uh, we were checking on the prisoners here, who are definitely not us, and that we, have this ba- we confiscated this backpack of alcohol because they were getting rowdy. And then, of course, we're going to set off that explosive once we get past them. No, no, don't tell them anything about the backpack. Just just be like, oh, this whole thing? Yeah, we're getting this into evidence. Just be like that, boom. Okay. They don't have to know what's inside it. That's true. Easy. That is true. Boom. We got this, boy. Your time has expired. Are you ready? Yes. All right. Bet. Let's go. Travelers, the guards are blocking your path. Good luck. Go out the front door. Uh, hold up. I was not expecting this many replacements, nor this early. Where'd you come from? Uh, hello. <clears throat> hello. Um, where are the new guards here? We're all brand new. We were just checking out that uh, canteen over there where you put all the prisoners. They had a backpack full of mysterious stuff, so we took it from it. We took it from them, and we're going to move it to evidence. Mysterious stuff stuff in a backpack. Hey, let me see that backpack. Yeah, we're going to have to Uh, see that backpack, newbie. Sure. Here you go. It's nothing fancy. What the hell is this? Uh, it's just a bunch of alcohol. We don't know what they were trying to do with it, but we had to take it off their hands. <sighs> alcohol. Why am I not surprised? Who the, f- who the hell is smuggling alcohol into our damn prisoner unit? But we'll take that I'm back. Gonna have to... evidence. Oh, no, hmm. no, no, no. You all can take your post. Unfortunately, we'll take this. I'm going to need you to head back to your post over at the the, the prisoner uh, the prisoner's unit over there. We're going to take this evidence and uh, bring it to the bring it to the security leaders over at the public service uh, public service public security office. Yeah. Travelers, don't give up. Come up with a story why you need to take it and go past them. No, no, I think we absolutely need to be the ones to take it. Uh, our, our trainer, uh, head, head facility guy who, who uh, he did our uh, onboarding, right? He told us that this was our first mission, was to bring that backpack to evidence. And I don't think he'd be very happy if we didn't take it off, off your hands and bring you it all the way there. You said you found it on a normal patrol. Yeah, we found What's your it. your designation? And we took it. Uh, private. Hmm. Obviously. What's your serial number? My serial number is zero 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 six nine, sir. Hmm. Wasn't that Larry yeah, that's, about three years not... ago? Are they recycling already? Hmm. Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, what's the name of the man you report to? Uh... Uh, I mean, you just said Larry. That's funny, because that was also his name. Larry died. There's a lot of Larrys in the world, sir. Not in this force, and certainly not of any higher-ups. Well, I, I, I think there's a Larry, there's a Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel? It might not yeah, be entirely well. out of the question. Bloody freaking lieutenant colonels all I swear they're all the same. Well I think of it this uh, way. You know what, sir, I'll I'll go ahead and I'll take that off your hands. This one is a ah. little you know. I can see that. Well think of it this way. <laughs> and then uh think of it this way. If those are prisoners, the bomb calls will just go off right when they leave the city borders. I bet they don't know that. Fair point. Fair point. I can't actually see it. 
These damned uniforms covering our necks, we couldn't tell. Alright. Fine. Well then go tell Move this right Lieutenant along. Carl Larry. I insist. Okay. Tell Larry to enjoy the spoils of his incursion. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. I knew everybody. <clears throat> okay, everybody, let's not. get out of here. Alright. If things go south, if things go south, we're gonna go. We're gonna go with Plan B. This way, friend. What the the hell? All right, get hold of it. I need this phone call or so. Okay, hold on. Me, I'm saving this one first. This actually could be useful. Well done. The story continues. As everyone here, things go south. Either yes, yes, yes. I believe so. If things go south, I'll be ready. Travelers, Never leave without them. you have passed the quest. All prisoners have survived. No casualties. For now. Well done. The painter okay, well makes done. his way through the city. Eventually, that was good. he meets the spy. And the spy helps him remove his bomb collar before he makes his exit. While he's leaving, he notices the spy is not following, and he turns and looks. The spy says, Where are you going? The painter replies that, this one. Well, you said something about the holy city, but I don't know anything about that. Is that where I should go? The spy looks displeased. The spy asks the painter, Why don't you know? Aren't you going to make your way to the flying city? The painter looks confused. He looks down at the ground. And when he looks up, the spy is gone. The painter finds the dark mech outside the city, mysteriously unguarded, and he gets inside and pilots it, my friends, this way. <laughs> if this mission goes in. If things go south, we got guns. Well, I, I only guess got so. enough for like, I only got like enough for like I, three I people. I think I think we're done being yeah. <laughs> the, the only other good thing that I have yeah. is that I can. I think so too. Kind of I wonder what we're... happened to. I kind of wonder what happened to the oh, other. <laughs> Everyone point at the other group. We can try two weeks from now. There are so many My of them. My friends, welcome to the holy city of Nissan. Please enter. Oh, this one. Oh, oh, oh. You for a second. I, I, I can already Nissan. smell many minerals or rocks. Copper roofs. Interesting. Wow. I like this place. Fresh they copper smell roof. good. Smell? <laughs> They're good as well. <clears throat> Shame. That sense we're not going to be having narration for a little bit. Um, <laughs> is it true that the way you introduced Shade is exactly the opposite the way you introduced this town? I don't know about that. The first I've heard of this claim. It just when it, when I remember the the narration of Jade, it's like this is a a cold, uh, un uncaring uh, place or something like that, and this place is described yeah, yeah. kind of oppositely. So, uh, did you lose your mech hey guys, as well? Have you, hey guys, have you tried Perhaps. the mug? Have you tried the copper roofs? They taste amazing. Yeah. Um, nom, 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 nom. 
but it's not so true. We had sand stuck in our tires, so we took a bit longer. Beep beep, we're done. What are you doing? Like. <laughs> 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 You should really taste the copper roofs. They taste amazing. Travelers, my friend, gather around. Gather around, travelers. Look at this beautiful place we're in. How did we get here? How did our adventure lead us here? Well, there's surely something wonderful here, isn't there? For us to travel through so many strange circumstances to end up here, surely a reward must be waiting for the painter. If not, at least for us. And if not, at least for... The painter. Parks the dark mech outside. He wanders into the holy city. The light-colored stone walls shimmer with almost a rainbow glow from all the pebbles within. The sunlight is beautiful. The entire street glows. The cobblestone appears as if assembled by every color. The moss grows down the walls. It looks warm, like a blanket. And the painter soon spots people walking about. They're so happy. They're smiling. The painter smiles immediately when he sees them. Why is this place so happy? He walks in and looks around. He begins to walk the streets and speak with the people. He soon learns that this is the holy city of Nissan. This is the holy city of the church. The church of Mother Sophia. The painter hears the name and feels nothing. But he thinks about it, and he then hears the people speak more as he walks from shop to shop. They explain that this place was founded by the Holy Mother, a figure that leaded the people to hope, a figure that leaded the people with a new religion. The painter asks more questions about this, but he feels he needs to travel deeper. And thus, my friends, that leads us to our final quest. Travelers, your final quest lies within this city, and it is a bit different than your previous quest on this tour. My friends, Listen carefully. You all must walk as a group. And as a group, decide on the most beautiful, most scenic place in this city. Once you have decided, then you all must pose together for a group photo. One of you must take the photo. <laughs> While you do this quest, your fellow tour guides will wait down by the exit. Please do not leave the city. And please search together for a beautiful place. And please have fun. My friends, this is your final quest. A group photo. Good luck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, one group ride. Right. Right. What did I say? I was kind of too busy cuddling with my gun. Yes, you must stick together. We must spectate the oh. areas. Hey, if anyone strays too far from the group, oh, kill look, them. There's a temple.
Oh. I like the <laughs> well, oh, man. Can someone tall okay. lead the group? I can't see anyone that's short. Uh, Delta, you want take to him down. Okay. I'm, I, how am I, I'm okay. not the tallest okay. one here. We're tiny frogs. You got some good towers there. Ooh. Got a beautiful bridge <laughs> above us. Maybe we should go above the bridge next. Okay, you got all these little... Too far no. from the group. We gotta kill them. Oh, we're going too fast. One group, one group. Oh. Oh. I think this is a good place. Uh -oh. oh wait, oh, you could go up there. Take a photo. Oh, I think we could. Yeah. Oh wait, wait, right. Let's go on the bridge. Yeah, let's go on the bridge. See what it looks like from there. To the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bridge. There might be a weight limit. We're all frogs. Frog. Don't, don't worry, we are frogs. Don't believe in gravity. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's not because of heavy. It's not. We have negative weight, so we we get increase the capacity of the bridge. What about these trees up there? The laws of physics. I don't see any police here. Do you? We're so dense. Can I get on top of the railing? I'm gonna do great park climb. I'm going to bust nut in water town. How do I get on top of the bridge? Can I get on top of the bridge? Okay. I I found a really good place to take this stand on this bridge. I do like it here. I think I'll try to take it this time. Let me just. Let me just. All right. Oh yes. Okay. I please ask Sheen to join the photo. A bridge is what you want. A bridge is what you'll get. It doesn't matter. Sure. Since nobody else seems to be able to do it. The most purest. We need Sheen in the photo. The most purest of rocks I've seen. This gun. Sheen's getting in the photo. Frogs are lining up, right? Well, we're lining up. Ether. Uh, I, this I, I, guess I should hold my pose Ether, then. This is the most purest of rocks I've ever found. Uh, pause. It's so it's pristine. Trying to. Well, we have oh, to wait for him. Oh, How did you know that right punching my face would make me <laughs> And Trajan as well. Don't forget Trajan. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. everyone. Wait, that's the camera. Oh, I made my quest into Jordan. Yeah, I'm out of the camera. Where should I stand? Where are the armor can see you. We have a bit of an empty space this over here. This is a fake replica of the original beard higher. and stash, and now it's glued to your face. All of us will be pretty good. To the left of me. Mm. Just don't touch my gun. Okay. <laughs> Well, it's yeah, what was it? What did you say? Magic hit away. Flying above us would be good. <laughs> right here, you say. All right. What about Trajim? Where should Trajim stand? I have. Um, I think I, I found a way. I feel like. <laughs> yeah, I feel like he's in a, he's in a spot he prefers. He's in a better place. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Ready, and then I will freeze everyone. He's going Gabo mode. Mm. All right. <laughs> well, I'm ready to take the photo if everyone else is. Sure. I am as well. Yep. Yes. I think we're all ready. <laughs> all right. I'm taking photos. Count of three. What should we say on the count of three? Photosynthesis. <laughs> Photosynthesis. Follow synthesis. Follow synthesis. Photosynthesis. Sounds good. Three, Tactical two, one. Retreat. Taking pictures. Photosynthesis. User Kitty, would you Ow. prefer that uh, I use I, I, I use the picture that you're using this avatar in, and the other one because you changed avatars while I was taking pictures? Ah. That one, okay. I'll, I'll all right, all them, to be travelers, well done. You've taken a group photo in record time. What an act oh, of that synchronicity, <laughs> unity. <laughs> travelers, make your way to the exit this way. We have the froggy car mind. <laughs> we are a hive mind of frogs. 
created it haphazardly. You are, more, you are way more organized than the Mongols. That's impressive. Oh my goodness. That's, imp that's impressive. Hell yeah. That's impressive. Oh, oh yeah. Surpassing the organization of Mongols. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. 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 I didn't break, but I failed the flip. I cannot do the Trajan backflip. The Me painter either. speaks more with the fighting. locals of Nissan. He learns that Mother Sophia taught a great many things to the ancestors of everyone here. They often speak of their teachings to their children. Many words of typical church teachings can be heard, but one thing stands out, not heard by many, to the painter. It seems that Mother Sophia told the people that, in times of dire need, instead of praying to God for fairness, instead... Pray to your innermost thoughts and feelings. Everyone seems confused, perplexed by this. But the painter listens, and he thinks he understands. The people that tell him this teaching don't quite understand the meaning. But they tell him anyways, because it seems important. And the painter continues. The painter sees the cathedral. He suddenly feels something click. Something he knows he's heard before. Yes. Something he has to trust within all the parts of his own self acting together and unity the spire of the cathedral resonates in his eyes and he realizes his final destination is before him my friends welcome to the grand finale of the tour this way oh yeah oh, oh yeah oh yeah Oh, tiny. Yeah. Oh shit. Yo. That's true. Beautiful. Beautiful. Praise is, this the is that you? you? Praise hey, the cube. Is that you? Praise <laughs> the mighty cube. I remember last time I was here, someone was talking to me about midget porn. Holy shit. It's the, the lore of madness combat. Did I stutter? <laughs> Perfect. Enlightenment. I bow Peace to the mighty and cube. Tranquility. Bow to the cube. I said bow Beware to the, the spear. <laughs> Beware the spear, heretics. Oh, wait, My um, friends. wait. I don't want to ruin this one. Gather around and listen closely. If you look carefully, you can see each angel only has one wing. At this point yeah. in the tour, I ask all tourists or my friends, travelers or observers, why are you here? What are you doing? You observe this statue. And my question to you, reflected 
off all of those reasons is. What do you think this statue symbolizes? It's Sephiroth. <laughs> yeah. Get there. I was just about to say that. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> we all saw it. I'm sorry. No, that wasn't a we real all answer. Saw it. Somebody we needed to say it. <laughs> yeah, and I know. Oh. One man day, do it all that. But this <laughs> room was constructed <laughs> in the real world before that scene. You know. Oh, which scene I'm speaking of, don't you? This room was constructed before that scene was rendered. Your accusation holds no ground, so I ask you again, travelers. What does this statue represent? Oh. Uh, in me, the best things in life cannot be seen or touched, but must be felt. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Mm. No, I. Does this mean I, I know this one. I know this Smile one. Smile says you. <laughs> yeah, program? Call back. Hmm. True understanding. The separation. Oh, I like mutual understanding. How do you do anything? How they reach for each other, you cannot reach. Unless you have someone else. Oh. Unity? How do you do like anything unity. without one wing? I've heard unity. <laughs> Let's see. Zared. X A R E D. Do you have an answer? Unity? No. Sumoko. Do you have an answer? I was about to say, I think Zared's going to mute, but. Um, <clears throat> we can only fly together? Only fly together. That insinuates many things, yes. Tricky Cat, do you have a different answer? It's pretty similar that being together you can do much more than by yourself. You are not wrong, Tricky Cat. One more. D-Joy Remix, do you have an answer? Nope. I do not. Stop spinning then so you can think. Very That's well. how you think. You gotta That's spin. Well <laughs> said, friends. All of you were not wrong. What you said aligns with what the church would teach the people and what Mother Sophia would say. Humanity works together, helps one another to live or to fly as to say. Realizing one is not whole and you must give up part of yourself to be held by another in order to be whole, in order to fly, or to be understood. Yes, this is the gospel of the Nissan Church. But, my friends, there is a deeper meaning to this statue. A meaning only known to Mother Sophia and the sculptor himself. Do the same thing again. To completely understand another view. To perceive their observance through your eyes. To withstand their hate. To value their love. To weigh their sorrow. To be clean enough to understand their happiness, to be compassionate enough to support their determination. Is this not the definition of true love? Is this not what it means to be as one? As one. Oh. As one, my friends, my very good friends, I'm sorry 
I've inserted personal things that may have no place here. However, I have one final surprise for you. There will be time for my retribution. Time for my punishment. But for now, please, enjoy my final surprise. My friends, this way. Hmm? Obey the cube. Was that originally in the script? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Once again, my worst enemy, stairs. I love <laughs> stairs. They're basically <laughs> long stairs. Stairs on your stairs, tire. Oh, oh, I'm a car. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Don't worry. Don't worry. At least you have a better chance than the Daleks. Flights of stairs. Whoever says they're a car, at least you have better steps, so like better on like better on like better ranches than the Daleks. With a portrait. Hey. I, I will ignore the fact that they flick can fly. Hey. This way, friend. Yeah, Delta, they can just float. Stairs. I'm more As it should. What is that fact is stupid. I'll ignore the fact that the Daleks can fly because they are visually they like because like 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 aerodynamically they can't. Travelers, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Travelers, stop. Travelers. It. <sighs> um. It's my greatest honor to introduce you. To introduce you to Sophia. Hey, travelers. This way. <laughs> oh, hello, Sophia. Yo. What's her Instagram? Oh. <laughs> uh, I don't think there's Instagram in this uh, domain. Wow. So we finally see her. Yep. I've already yeah, she the looks just like the appraiser. Wow, she looks just like the appraiser. Nothing less. I have the already tasted the walls. The story tasted continues. The mother or the pilot? Both, probably. I don't know which one. Anyway. Here, in this room, Sophia sat in that chair. As the painter captured her likeness. Into this portrait, every ounce of his being went. Every feeling he had ever felt was infused, as if recorded in text via strokes of his brush. Sophia watched him. She watched him paint. <coughs> and she fell in love. This room, this time capsule, was observed by so many. I know. It belonged to them. Talking to himself. As if the laws of those observed isolated it. The outside watched, freezing, wanting to preserve this forbidden event. And my friends, something amazing happened. You see, the painter and Mother Sophia wanted this place to last forever. As typical lovers do. It was the only place a commoner, from the outskirts of the holy city, from a village far away, and a religious figure 
could be together. They thought exactly the same thoughts as those above them. Are some of you beginning to understand what's going on here? And so the painter acted before the gods. Before. Well, the fan fiction. The painter lied. He told Mother Sophia that he lacked the pigments necessary to complete this portrait. And thus he delayed its completion by many weeks. Again and again. He returned home as long as the story would allow it. But Sophia was no fool. She knew what was going on. However, she wanted it so. She loved his lies. She cherished them, waiting for him to say it each time. And she thanked the gods each time he pretended to deceive her. Unfortunately, my friends, on one of his return trips home, the painter blacked out. When he woke up, everything had changed. Hundreds of years had passed. He rushed back to this cathedral. He didn't know where he was going, where he came from. But when he arrived, he noticed the cobblestone streets. The walls looked different. The people were different. He spoke to them, trying to figure out what was going on. Why did no one know where Sophia was, yet spoke of her and her influence? He sees the cathedral, and he runs for it. He breaks inside, breaks past the communion. He goes upstairs, up past the balcony. He looks at the statue, and he feels a twinge of pain as he sees the two angels almost touching. A heavy mimetic weight pulls down on him just as he opens the door to this room. He slams it open and runs in and is hit by the warm sunlight. The chair is gone. The easel is gone. The paints are gone. The portrait is hung on the wall, incomplete. And Mother Sophia is gone. You see, travelers, this entire time, we have been following the villain of this story. And thus, the painter falls. Welcome to the neutral ending of the painter. Popping noises, popping yeah, noises. Wow. This, this may be a bit, this clap, may be clap, a bit clap, quick, clap, but, uh... Clap, clap, clap. Will it clap, be a time clap. where we actually see the good ending? Yeah, yes. in a few weeks. Almost All right. Four weeks, theoretically. Probably. Probably. Closer to a month.
<laughs> Travelers, thank you for your time. Thank you for making it this far. I have a few things to tell you. I sat on one and I went to the sky. When I first started VR Travelers, this tour was a bit different than I have just told it. It was disorganized. I've made a few notes since then, but it's still mostly the same. You see, the painter tour is completely improv. There is no script. Everything you've heard is from the heart. With a bit too much personal things put in. And it's going to stay that way. Because that's how it should be. Each time you go on the painter, it's going to be different. I won't follow the lines because there's no script. Aside from the item list and a few other things, that's what this tour is about. If you like what we do, if you want to hear the painter too, please donate to our Patreon. It's only $3 a month. We work hard behind the scenes, and we try to do this every Saturday. This is for fun, for free, and donating to the Patreon grants you access to play NPCs in the tour, like the prison guards from today. So, travelers, I hope you had fun, and I hope you look forward to what happens to the painter. And I'm done. <laughs> fuck, fuck, where, where can I throw my, where can I throw my money at you? There, clap, clap, clap. Shut up and take my money. Take my money and my hearts. Don't ask where I got them. I have them. <laughs> uh, why are they Someone dropped them on the way here. You do not ask. <laughs> And why are they like part red, well, part blue? Absolutely cards. beautiful, as always, Sheen. Do not ask questions. You're mm -hmm. not prepared for the answers. I like this. Hmm. I'm always prepared for the answers. <laughs> I do more things than collect rocks. You like do you them. guys explore the world before doing these? Yes. You also sample yes. waters. That too. Right. Of course. That's Long how you found all the uh, boats. I think Lake oh, Mead yeah. is the water. Lost. I, yeah, I I'm surprised it was all that. improv. It was really good. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's improv <laughs> built on improv. Imagine you with one of those lines. have specific lines, but the story is... You know that battle that chugs the ocean thing? And it's the only thing in a lot of, like, D&D rules, you know? Have some vague idea and then build off of that. I still can't believe it. Fun fact, the only reason is that...